This is Farm Journal's Margie Fisher with Farm Journal field agronomist Ken Ferry. Ken, we're gearing up for Corn College here in Central Illinois. Tell me what's new about this year's event. This year's event's going to have a, a lot of different components to it. We actually uh, planted wheat here at the Corn College. We've harvested the wheat off, giving us room to do live tillage. So we're going to do live tillage during the Corn College event. The weather forecast looks good that we're going to be able to stay out in the field. And we're going to let the farmers uh, see the tillage tools run and what it looks like above ground. They're going to uh, see what it looks like below ground in the actual pits themselves. And we're going to break these tillage tools out into classes and talk about where those classes of tools fit on certain soils, certain areas, certain parts of the country, and how we would recommend uh, running those tools. They're going to also get to go to the field uh, and do some digging and try to figure out how we ran our tools last fall and this spring. So their job is going to be to see if they can pick out the density layers and figure out what caused it with some coaching on, on going home then to their own fields and say, do I have any of these density changes in the field? So that's going to be something different. In did some test running on it. It really looks good and the weather, I'm excited that we're going to have some pretty good weather to keep us dry so we can do this tillage all week. You talk about it staying dry out here. A lot of farmers have actually been plagued by water issues, whether being too wet or too dry this year. Tell me a little bit about how we're, we're centering over the issue of water at this year's event. Water is kind of a theme to this event. I hear a lot of growers say, well, I, I can't make it rain or I can't make it stop raining. So I, I do the best I can and, and live with the weather conditions. And that's quite a bit uh, quite a bit of truth to that. But the reality is they have a lot of effect on how they manage the water that they're given. So in this event, we're going to talk about uh, water in general. We're going to talk about how they can manage it in, in the big ways, of course, irrigation and drainage. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to do both of them right or how the different uh, concepts or ideas to, for instance, drainage. We're also going to focus on what uniform soil density does to water management. We're going to talk about evaporation and transpiration and put those together. We have eva evapotranspiration. We're going to talk about how row spacing, population, and ear or size or uh, hybrid selection has a, has a big effect on water management. So. We're going to try to tie the whole day together as we work through it and, and say we're only going to get so much water, now how do we manage that water and how do we get the best or most bushels out of that. And Corn College is rooted in the systems approach to farming and that encompasses many things. Tell me a little bit about how some of the sessions will really highlight the systems approach. It, of course it'll be the systems theme throughout the whole week uh, as we're talking about it. One of the areas that we're going to focus on is, is the systems approach to vertical tillage. And uh, there's a lot of confusion out there right now what vertical tillage really is. So we're going to spend some time on it. They're going to look at pits and they're going to be able to see below and above ground what a true vertical tillage system should look like. And we're going to spend uh, some time on, on helping them select you know, what type of tools they're going to need in their environment to get to it. And there's a lot of opportunities out there for them. We just want to make sure they, they put a system together with vertical tillage. Vertical tillage is not just one tool or one event. It's a systems concept, and we'll teach that uh, throughout the day. Well, hey, Ken, thank you so much, and, and we're looking forward to next week. You bet. We're looking forward to the farmers showing up and having a good week. Thanks.